Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben for the Parker Campus, and here's your word for the day. As followers of Jesus, our faith is always going to be tested. And one of those ways is when we face trials. Not if we face trials, but when we face trials. And let me tell you, they don't stop. Remember, we're not exempt from the trials of life. Jesus told us that. So what do we do? Because our natural response is to get frustrated, upset, or even give up when facing trials. Well, in our text today, we are reminded as followers of Jesus that the trials we face are actually a reason for us to rejoice. Listen to what it says in James chapter one, starting at verse two, and I'm gonna be using the New Living Translation. It says, dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. I like the word consider. He's saying consider what you're going through. And instead of reacting right away, really think about it. Like take time to really think about it, what you're going through by taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture. Not from our perspective or our lens or how we feel, but from a godly perspective. Keeping your eyes on Jesus and instead of getting frustrated, upset, and wanting to give up, consider that the trial is an opportunity to produce a vital attribute that you and I need to remain faithful in our walk with God, and that is endurance. Endurance. Because our first response when going through any kind of trial is to want to give up. But you and I were called to stay faithful and to remain and abide in Christ. And we can only do that uh, when we endure the trials of life. Uh, the Apostle Paul says that the Christian life is like a run of running a race. And to run this race and finish well, well, we need endurance. And as we endure one trial, it will strengthen our faith to endure the next and the next and the next. You're like, wait a minute, where's the joy in that? The joy is set before us in Jesus and heaven being our finish line. You and I have the greatest hope ever to hold on to that is worth enduring for, and that is eternity with our Savior, Jesus. I'm also reminded when going through the trials of life, uh, what Paul says in Romans 8, 18, he says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. You and I have a reason to rejoice and to rejoice always, even through the trials of life. So the next time you face a trial, or maybe you're in the middle of it right now, and I know it's not easy, believe me, I know it's not easy. Let me encourage you to hold on because your faith will be strengthened and that you and I can both endure with hope and especially endure with joy. God bless you and have a wonderful day.